All right, so today I am working on my business cards. You know, I have like a whole stack of them that... Let me find my little stack. You know, I have my whole stack of little business cards. I signed the back. They're kind of in interesting looking. You know, I got some ri rich, vivid uh, colors on them, and they're really interesting. And, you know, they're all unique. But I make them all the same. I start with a big piece of back graphic, and, you know, I just start cutting them down. And there's a reason why I do these occasionally. Uh, one, I normally get them printed professionally, so I have, so they all look the same, they all look professional. And I get, and I ha don't have to spend as much time doing, uh, finishing work on business cards, because when you get business cards, one of the things I really do hate the most is that when you print them yourself, they always look like you printed them yourself. They always got that, that certain inkjet or laser print quality to them. That I really don't like. Because even if you compare it to this one right here, the front side alone, I mean, even if this was black and white, it, it just doesn't compare. This right here is, is nice, rich. The cardstock is a lot thicker. And you can just tell that just by the way this feels versus the way this feels, that this is a, a printed copy, no matter what I do to the bottom to it. So I usually end up making these ones whenever I don't have time to get them printed, uh, like this time. I usually make them as, as just like a little printed uh, card on the front with a piece of artwork on the back. Something that they can, you know, has an, the ability to entice and keep. Versus just, oh, nice, cheap business card and throw away. Now, I have a stack of, I don't know what's, what's right here, about five sheets. I've already done two sheets, because I, you know, they were done first. Um, I'm going to sign the backs of these cards, similar to this one. So, when they show up, they're going to, you know, when people get them, they're going to be nice little pieces of signed pieces of artwork on the back. And if they want to frame them, they can. Uh, and that's the way I see it. It's a little piece of artwork on a, on a, it would look great in a 4x5 frame. And uh, that's the important part is that longevity in somebody's wall, in, in somebody's collection. Because the longer they keep it, the more they would remember you. Now, I am going to go ahead and, I have to say, I am going to carry these cards at this event in case there is somebody saying, oh, you're, you're a designer or an illustrator? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, just go here and send me a message. But I'm not going to be wor too worried about that. For the most part, I'll probably have a lot of these left over. And that's good, because I don't have to make them again for a long, long time. And... This is where the fun part begins, because now I'm, I'm going to be cutting off separate cards, and you can see how the, the wide range in a, in a giant shuffle. And as you can see, each one of these has a nice interesting characteristic that I've chosen. You know, from like these these random lines to this this wonderful half tone to this this almost iridescent splattering that I, I got. And and they just become these wonderful little pieces of art. And I mean I just sign them as I I would write anything. They just go down here because the name is up on the top and they match. And you know, if they decided to put them this way in a four by five frame, which is let me grab a piece about four by five. Four by five. Four by five. Alright, 
using the back of this piece of artwork. You know, like a 4x5 would look actually quite, quite nice over there. So suddenly there's like a little piece of graphic that they can put on there, and it's going to be fine. Uh, most likely people would put it landscape, which would be like that. And I think on a w solid white background with a nice, you know, wonderful frame to match somebody's decor, like a little card like this would be great. It's also a constant reminder that it's also a business card. And I guess that's the most important part in this sort of video, so... Uh, more on that later.